America. Tom Hand here with Americana Corner. Today we're discussing North Carolina's regulator insurrection. Several years before Lexington and Concord, farmers in western North Carolina had a rebellion of their own. This movement, called the Regulator Insurrection, represents the first time royal officials used soldiers to suppress American colonists. When cheap land began attracting settlers to western North Carolina in the 1750s, speculators bought up large tracts which inflated land prices, forcing many farmers deep into debt. When farmers couldn't make their payments, local courts, who were in cahoots with the speculators, took everything the farmers had. In 1766, the farmers organized and took their case to the colonial legislature, but made no headway. When legal methods failed, the regulators adopted extra-legal methods, such as refusing to pay taxes, reclaiming confiscated property, and disrupting court proceedings. In the spring of 1771, Royal Governor William Tryon called out the militia and marched to Alamance Creek near Hillsboro, the center of the rebellion. On May 16th, after peace overtures failed, Tryon's force opened fire on the 2,000 assembled regulators. The Battle of Alamance ended when the regulators, with ammunition running low, were forced to surrender. Governor Tryon hung six ringleaders, but offered a pardon to other regulators who would swear allegiance to the crown. And within six weeks, 6,000 backcountry men accepted the offer. Although this short-lived rebellion was over, repercussions would be felt during the American Revolution. Since many of the officers who led the militia against the regulators were the same men who led the Patriot cause against the British, many former regulators became loyalists, which would make subduing this area more challenging for the Continental Army. Next week, we will discuss the partisan fight in the backcountry of South Carolina. Until next time, may your love of country lead you. Thank you.